Well, the committee to save the Carnegie is making plans to raise funds to move the Carnegie Library in Bemidji away from the road. The committee was left with the option of moving the Carnegie after a city council decision last night that nixed the committee's plan to renovate the building in its current location. Lacey Montelion is live in the studio with more. Lacey, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Dennis, city council members had various reasons for why they would prefer the building to be moved away from the road. But while committee members agree that moving the building away from the road is the best option, basically it all comes down to money. Last night's city council decision has brought the Save the Carnegie committee back to the drawing board. We resolved to go ahead even though uh, uh, the city council did not agree with our recommendation not to move the building. Crenshaw says part of the problem with moving the building is the cost. The issue is our ability to, in a, in a city this size, to raise that much money because now uh, the project we're faced with is a uh, $1.55 million project. That's a lot of money for a city, even if we are a regional center. One member of the city council says there are a couple of reasons why the city council opted to move the building. One, they think it would look better. Two, they're concerned about additional uh, encroachment um, from the street. The street, which is controlled by the Minnesota Department of Transportation, could always face changes in the future. The road is the whole problem here. It's a problem in that the building is deteriorating. Um, the, it's been encroached with signs, stop signs. The city council says that they want the building moved about 10 feet, which is the distance from me to the camera right now. But that number may change. See, it all depends on this walkway back here, and there are other problems as well. People of the American Indian community believe that there are grave sites along that slope. Now, perhaps not, not behind the Carnegie, uh, but, and this is unknown, but they believe that there may be grave sites there. So that's another consideration. You don't want to be barging out too far more than you have to. While the committee and the city council say that it will certainly cost more to move the building, planning for cost is still in the early stages. I think we're still um, doing some work on evaluating the budget. What exactly will the cost be? But regardless of the cost, the committee remains resolved not to lose the building. A lot of people in this community want to stop tearing down our heritage. And that, we think, starts with this wonderful old building. Crenshaw says that the committee is now focusing on finding benefactors as well as grant money from foundations. Dennis, back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Lacey, for that live report from our studio tonight. The committee's current timeline is to raise money for 16 months. That schedule could change depending upon such factors as the economic and political climate. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.